Hey guys, welcome to Life with the Dingles. This, what I want to talk about today is very touchy. And I'm posting this on all my social medias. I'm posting this on, surface it around on YouTube. I know it's surfacing around on TikTok, but it needs to be surfaced around everywhere because as a people, everybody needs to, to join together. I know my husband and I will probably be talking about this in an, uh, on a live soon. I want to say this week, possibly if not beginning next week, because this really hits close to home. We have sons. Um, so this video that you guys are about to see is very disturbing. News is very disturbing that you're about to hear, excuse me, is very disturbing. So get your minds prepared, mentally prepared to listen to it. And I ask that you guys stand in solidarity and pray with this family. Like, share, subscribe this video, guys. Like it, and let's talk more about the actual facts at hand. Let's talk more about what's actually going on in the news. Let's get into this video. ...away and uh, getting this horrible news, but on top of that, they say they feel left in the dark by the Vance County Sheriff's Office. I was able to speak with the sheriff today. He is urging people to remain calm while they investigate, but really, Still a lot of unanswered questions in this case. We have to acknowledge that, number one, we do live in the South, and there is a deep history of racism and racist acts. Um, and so people are obviously concerned about that. Some in Henderson on edge, gathering in front of the sheriff's office, seeking answers on the death of J.V. on McGee. Just 21 years old, he just got his CDL license for a Chicago area trucking company. He was in Henderson making a drop off at the Walmart distribution center and was found dead Wednesday morning off Vanco Mill Road, not far from his truck, sitting with his back to a tree with a rope around his neck. The sheriff today told me he doesn't believe there was foul play, but he wouldn't call it a suicide. He did say, however, there was evidence Javion may have bought rope from a nearby Walmart. We're going down every avenue, every aspect, all the information, videos. Uh, we, we got in contact with the trucking company uh, to get his GPS reading. In the meantime, the sheriff trying to tamp down rumors that are swirling on social media. The rope was wrapped around his neck. It was not a noose. It was not a knot in the rope. So therefore, it was not a lynching here in Vance County. But those responses aren't adding up for Javion's family. A spokesperson for his mom telling us Javion always talked to his family and there were never any signs of problems. A lot of this stuff does not pass the smell test and that is a problem. Now left mourning a loss from hundreds of miles away as they look for answers. The entire family are completely mortified, they are hurt, they are, you know, have a lot of questions, you know, because they want to know what actually happened to their loved one. And that is what we are trying to get to the bottom of. Right now, the sheriff tells me uh, the, the SBI is assisting in this investigation. They also tell me that an autopsy is being conducted on JV on today. Uh, once we get the results of that autopsy, then they'll be able to better determine whether this was, in fact, a suicide. But obviously, so heartbreaking for this family. The family tells me uh, some are making their way here to North Carolina, hoping to try and get some of these answers in person. All right, you guys have heard it. And... Like I said, this is this is about a little over an hour from where we live, and this this really hits close to home. Why would someone drive over a thousand miles away to commit suicide? And if the family's saying that there's, that just 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 doesn't sound right to us either, to anyone, honestly. If you look at culture, yes, in the South there's a lot of racism. There's racism everywhere. There's hate everywhere. There's hatefulness everywhere. And like that young man said, we do live in the South. We do. And I, I know people who's wanting to move to the North Carolina area. What boggles me down is there is a, a, a link or there is a video that's surfacing about why many people are relocating to North Carolina due to the tech industries, but yet you guys didn't say anything about this young man that was hung. Don't start bringing all these different people here, but yet you didn't say anything about this young man from a whole different state in the Midwest that came to this, to this state and was hung on like, I guess it was his first or second, I don't know how many deliveries it was, but it doesn't matter. This is a young black male who was on his way to success. He 
he was doing the right thing. He's not in the streets. He doesn't have a million baby mamas. He doesn't. You can see the picture where he graduated successfully. He's not a dropout. This young man was raised right. This young man chose to do right. And where did right get him? Dead at 21. Hung. So let's wait and see what happens when this autopsy comes back. And I pray, you guys, we need to stand together and pray for this young man. All of a sudden, these things are happening right before an election. How does that even make sense? But let's pray for this young man, family, his mom, his dad, his parents, grandparents, family as a whole. It's, it, this is the most devastating news anybody can hear. Anybody, even though I, I, I don't know his family, I have no idea who they are. But as a black woman, a black American woman, as a black mother, a black American mother, it hurts. It really, truly hurts that this young man's life was cut short at the hands of a hateful conniving spiteful monstrous human being not even human being inhumane thing because this right here is not so much an act of hate an act of racism it's an act of inhumanity let's call it what it is and i pray for this family and i hope you all will do the same too. Doesn't matter what color you are. Doesn't matter what country you're in. Doesn't matter what age you are. Prayer has. <laughs> prayer. Just prayer. Pray. Pray for them. Prayer has no judgment of people. God has no judgment of people. Pray. Pray for these individuals. Doesn't matter who you are. Where you're at. Take a moment. As I do now. And pray. Jesus. All it takes is just one moment. All it takes is just one act of kindness. All it takes is just one voice. Make miracles happen. So I pray with this family. I'm, the whole country is still in shock. Still in, in, in complete and utterly shock about this. And. I pray heartfelt, sincerely that this family gets the justice that they deserve. Guys, talk to you soon.